Buffy. Hello my earthlings and aliens. Hi. How are you guys doing today? I hope everybody is doing really well. Um, I am Sophie, if you are new here, aka the Space Bimbo. That was kind of hard to say. AKA. AKA. This keeps freaking me out because I keep like seeing my reflection of my arm and getting distracted in the camera. Um, I had a plan for today and the plan was in the works and it is still in the works and I realized holy crap this plan is going to take a lot longer than I thought and so we're starting a secondary plan. Anyway, today we are going to be doing something interesting. I wanted to go through some of my belongings. Um, I have a lot of stuff. So the way my mother describes my room is so much stuff you would expect it to be messy, which is accurate. And I try to keep it clean most of the time because I like to have friends over and I'm on stream all the time. And like, I just generally like to present myself as someone who's not fucking trashy and messy. I mean, trashy. <laughs> Sorry, let me correct myself. Who's not messy and unkempt. Like, I want to be kempt. And so I've wanted to start going through like my clothes, my accessories, etc. And like, maybe just vetoing some items, donating some, selling some, repurposing some. And today, I wanted to start that process. It's gonna be a rather long process and I'm not starting with the clothes. I wanna, lay, I wanna wait a little bit on that. Today, we're gonna go through the necklaces that I own. I'll show you guys the process of laying out the necklaces real quick and then we can start going through each of them. The first thing I decided to do was lay out all of my necklaces on the floor so I could see them each individually more easily. I knew I had a lot of necklaces, but I just really was not prepared for the way the floor was completely covered. I genuinely could not even walk anywhere. The next step was to hang up my new necklace rack. In retrospect, I definitely should have done this part first. I got a little command hook and I attached it to the wall. I actually got really lucky and found this necklace rack at a thrift store. Somehow this little guy evaded me. I have no idea how he managed to stay up there. You little sneaker. For the next part of the process, I started picking up each necklace individually and hanging them or deciding what to do with them otherwise, whether I was going to donate them, sell them, or repurpose them. I kept going until I had sorted every single necklace off the floor. It's really cool to watch the way the necklace rack fills up. The footage is kind of dark though, so I apologize for that. My initial idea was to sort all of my necklaces by color of the pendant, but when I was finished, the left side was really full and looked vibrant, while the right side was super sparse and empty. I wasn't super happy with it. I decided to switch up my original idea and instead of having all of the rainbow colors on the left side, I moved all of the blues, greens, and browns over to the right. That way I had all of the pinks, reds, and yellows on the left side and the blues, greens, and browns on the right. Here is how it looked after I switched everything around. I am much happier with the results. After sorting all the necklaces I was going to keep, the last few things I did was to put away all of the necklaces that I was going to donate into these little individual baggies just so they wouldn't get tangled. I didn't want to be an asshole and just like throw them all in the same bag. 
And then after that, I took pictures of all the necklaces that I'm going to be listing on Depop and Poshmark. And I will be selling them in bundles of two or three, and they will either be available in the description or available in the next couple of days by the time this video is going up. Okay, and so the last little area that I wanted to show you guys is this area here. Um, I have this little tree that has a bunch of chains on it that I have Frankensteined from other necklaces. Um, like I said at the beginning, we are repurposing some of these necklaces. So I took off all the pendants and I put them down here. I have a nice big bin of pendants now that I can use and if I can't find a particular necklace or a particular color that I'm looking for I can go in the pendants and find a little charm and put it on one of these um, empty chains so that I can just Frankenstein together a necklace when I want to my necklace DIY station if you will and that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me while I do a little bit of spring cleaning. I'm thinking I might do a little more to this series, um, but that really definitely depends on how people respond to these videos. So if you liked this video, leave a comment down below and, and like this video if you enjoyed watching. And also subscribe if you haven't already. I will be back hopefully next week with another video for you guys. Um, and I'm pretty reliable with my shorts, so I'll be back with some shorts later this week. And if you're interested in any of the necklaces that I listed for sale in this video, um, they should be listed on Poshmark and Depop, and the links will be in the description. But anyway, yeah, thank you guys for hanging out with me and watching me play around with my jewelry for a while. I know this was actually a shorter video than usual, but whatever. It's short, it's sweet, it's simple. It's sexy. Anyway, bye everybody.